What is going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, Red M server. So to start off you want to make a folder in a base directory. So I'm just going to do it in my G drive. New folder, we'll just call it Red M server. And then you want to head to this link up here. The link will be in the description below and hit latest recommended and just find the the folder you just created okay and once that's downloaded if you've got 7-zip uh, just go extract here and if not you can uh, just open that up and everything will be in there so just select it all uh, copy and paste and or drag and drop so we're going to delete that now we don't need it uh, that's the zip file we don't need that uh, so that's all good now that's within our red m server um, and all our stuff is here so now we're going to head to the cfx server data um, you would really want to use uh, github desktop but just for the purposes of this video I'm just going to do it with this so locate uh, your server directory again we'll go back to it and do the same thing extract here then just shift delete to permanently delete that and to make it easier I'm just going to get rid of that master and this is where most of our uh, resources and stuff will go now we want to make a new text document here uh, call it uh, server.cfg just for example you can name that whatever you want but uh, you just have to make sure you name it elsewhere whatever you've named it so we're going to go into that I've already got it set up um, on a different server so I'll use that to make it a bit easier one on the left is the new one one on the right is the old one I'll have links for these in the description as well if you'd just like to uh, copy these ones and uh, you change your locale here so that will change um, where the uh, basically where the server is based and how you, people will filter it on the Red M client. Uh, you've got your icon here. Um, so again, I've already got my icon. So we're going to throw that in uh, the same directory as the server config. Um, and I've got this line up here so that's going to execute a secondary file which is going to be resources so within resources we've got uh, just the default stuff for now I'll also uh, have a link in the description for uh, that uh, okay so now in the main directory just click off to the left a little bit here and new text documents and you can do hashtag run server or even just run whatever you'd like it to be it doesn't matter at all run server dot bat hit yes whoops we'll edit that and within that we will want this code here this will also be in the description this part is very important this is what allows the FX server uh, to recognize to load the Red Dead map and so on and so forth and this is where our uh, server.config gets executed and we'll just make sure this is spelt correctly and also you'd want to check your drive as well 
and make sure that matches your drive. So we can close that and even just to make this easier create a shortcut Control X and Control V and that will paste it here so it just uh, saves us having to go back one more folder to run the server Oops, sorry I'm used to dragging it off to that side Oops, did I not set that? I did, yes. That's fine. And I've also got a link in the description for Keymaster 5M. That will be uh, where you obtain your license key. Uh, and Steam, you can obtain that from there once you log into your Steam account. Yeah, we just hit yes with that. That could be why. Uh, run that again. Allow access. And there we go, the Red M server is now active. Um, don't worry about this resource monitor, uh, that um, I haven't worked out yet how to disable that from automatically starting, so uh, that really doesn't matter anyway. So we're going to open up Red M now, just to verify that it's online. And there's plenty of videos online about how to port forward your uh, router and stuff like that, so just uh, search a video for that on how to make your uh, server public. So I'm just going to do play, I've already got English selected as well as uh, role play, but I might have to just do uh, the local. Yep, there we go. Even the icons loaded and the emojis, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I would connect to it, but it probably wouldn't work while I've got my recorder going. So, um, yeah, just trust me, if, it, if it's coming up here, it is most likely working. So, Also, uh, if you find your server like this, you won't be able to, to connect to it this way. If uh, you click connect you won't be able to do it, you either have to have the local host up here or type 127.0.0.1 and that will be local host. And to get local host up here you press the settings, interface and enable local host. And it's as easy as that. And to quit your server, the same with 5M, just type quit and you're done. Alright guys, I hope this has helped. If it has, please leave a like. And if it hasn't, please leave a comment explaining why it hasn't worked. And I'll try to help you out. Anyway guys, stay safe and take it easy.